Hello everyone, this is Bryant with sfftsource.com, your premier guide to Six Flags Fiesta Texas. We're finally back here out at the park. It's a nice hot summer day, but we're excited to check things out. It's been a few months since we've been here, so there's a lot to cover. We'll check out the new Poltergeist refurb, repaint, the re-theme of the queue, and uh, we will also look at all of the things that we know about the new 2022 attraction. Of course, we'll check out some shows and we'll check out some other updates around the park if we find them. Uh, keep in mind, this video, we're only here a few days before the big announcement. So the big announcement is gonna come out kind of right when this video comes out almost. So keep in mind, we don't actually know what the new ride is yet, uh, but it might be coming out very soon. So let's head into the park. y'all we've made our way into the park and it is very busy out at the front it is the very beginning of the day but i can say that fiesta texas also has their touchless security but then the metal detectors as kind of a second backup so uh, they are picking some people to go through the metal detectors and then some people to not go through just depending on uh, what that touchless security system finds on your person So you just saw Mariachi Los Soberanos, which plays here in Los Festivales, and I wanted to point out, I don't know how many people know this, but there's all of the names of the counties in Texas here, and what they did when they built this park was actually got dirt from all these counties and put it under these rocks. And I want to know in the comments below if y'all know just how old this palm actually is, because it's uh, quite old. So, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see from here. They've actually torn down some of the sort of shade structures they had. Um, and then they've actually repainted the building back there. So you can see there's also new wood. We will get in at a different angle, but you can see lots of paint going on there. I do think this is going to have some kind of indoor queue section when all is said and done. And you can see Six Flags has kind of played along with the whole refurb of Poltergeist. We've got these signs out here that say sold. So they've sold the house to new owners. And then of course, over here, you've got another banner. You can meet the new owners, but they've got blurry faces. So maybe you will meet them later on. And you can see September 3rd, 2021 is when Poltergeist is supposed to come back to life. Ended up on the Pete's Eats uh, kind of dining area, outside dining area, and you can see it looks like maybe they're planning on putting some kind of themed piece right here. It does look like there's new concrete there, and they've torn out some of the, uh, uh, what do you call that stuff, like the fence where the vines grow up, you know, the, the crisscross stuff. But you can see there is a lot of new wood, and it does kind of seem like maybe you will be entering down there instead of where the stairs are on the other side. But of course, I don't know. I just think it, it does seem like they're trying to do some kind of indoor queue section so that they can have some kind of cool theme going on. But time will tell. It's uh, looking really good, though. Uh, it definitely, they're definitely, uh, they seem to really be, you know, spending some uh, decent quality kind of design time on this. And then creeping up over the top of Pete's Eats is Poltergeist with its new kind of I guess like a limeish green and then a dark grayish green for the supports. So nice and shiny looking. The sun's not playing well with us. We're gonna have to get a different angle, but they have wasted no time getting this thing repainted. And from this angle, you can see the paint job really well. And they are also in their painting as we speak. So you can see some of the yellow and the light green still existing on the supports on the track, but for the most part, this thing is uh, pretty far along on the painting. Right above, 
Coca-Cola Freestyle spot has been kind of rebranded into one of these Cheeto popcorn snack stands, but as far as I know, it has never been open. And we're winding our way back into the Crack Axle Canyon section, but uh, we're not going to quite look at the new stuff, construction stuff yet. We do want to catch another show and check out some food festival offerings as well. We made our way finally kind of into the Crack Axle Canyon section. You can see here we've got the barge of fountains and lights all set up for Rock the Night. So we'll be checking that out later on. This does run through September 6th on days that the park closes at 9 p.m. or later. So you do still have plenty of time to catch this. And uh, definitely once they end that daily summer operation, if you get out here on like a Saturday night, you'll be good to go. And we're further into Crack Axle Canyon. I just want to point out all of the fun 4th of July American bunting and flags they have. It goes all across Thirsty Buffalo Saloon. And they've got flags all the way down the pathway. It really pops this area. And I, I like that they kept all of this up through the food festival. Now we are going to be trying some of the food festival items, but that will be a separate video and it'll be pretty in-depth. So make sure you all stay on the lookout for that. Nothing goes well with a super hot day, like a lot of fire. Yes, make it as hot as possible. Teatro Fiesta. That show runs through August 1st, so you don't have much time to do that, uh, to see it, I should say. Now across from Whitewater Bay, which you can see is very popular today, they have a brand new shop that's been built since we've been here last, which is Trader Six. So very fun little quick shop, and you can see it's a lot of uh, water park related stuff, fanny packs, towels, they've got water sandals, things like that. Of course, oh, they even have sunscreen. That's good. So you get like little misters. They do have shirts and stuff as well. Um, but there's also the Beach Bum Surf Company across the way if you need something more substantial, like a swimsuit, something like that. It's good for getting through a lonely all night. Everybody knows you shouldn't drink too much. So why does it always seem like it's never enough? Little chick from Brunswick, Juicy Josh Beach with a big shirt and dry. Canyon area so that we can talk about the new for 2022 attraction now there are several of these all around crack axle canyon and uh, we've actually already shown this on our social media these do when you kind of put them together you can see that there's a 13 out of 15 there this has a u on it up top when you put all of these 15 together it does spell out fountain of youth so of course as y'all are probably familiar with the next big Kind of hint that we have is over here next to Sundance Theater with this 2022 The Gates of Fear will open. There is a phone number on there that you can call. It's 1-833-733-7968. And uh, we did find out earlier this summer that Sundance Theater will be gone at the end of this season. So actually maybe before that. So this, these may be the last shows you see here. We don't really know. And then, of course, on the other side of Sundance Theater, they've dug a humongous hole. And uh, there's a few of these. One of them is in a back area. The other one, I believe, is at Lone Star Lil's Amphitheater. So we might be able to scope that out later. Um, 
But yeah, based off of that hole right there, uh, this is probably going to be a pretty substantial roller coaster. And uh, of course, nothing's been announced, but I feel pretty comfortable saying that. <laughs>
And uh, now that hole that we showed you earlier, you can get a better look at. So looks like maybe they were doing some soil samples. So 